whatever class. If you haven't had a class with me before, I'm Luke, by the way, how are you? We will change it over, we'll go opposite foot and opposite direction down at the wrist. Perfect. And we go feet and knees nice and close together. We go small circles left to right. And we'll change direction, opposite direction. With this one, try to keep your big toes touching all the time and your nose and your knees touching. And relax. On our next one, we're going to bring it up to our hips. We're working from out to in with one leg only. So bring it up as high as you can and bring it into the center. I just have somebody trying to check with me here. So one leg, just working from out to in. We stay working the one leg only. Cool. I'll stay on here as the host because there's a few people joined there as well. And then once your warm up's done, I'll switch it over to you as the main host. So you're the main video. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So stay on the same leg, but we're now going in the opposite direction. So we're going knee in the center and then opening out to the side. So same leg, knee up in the center and out to the side. Now. Excellent. And then we'll switch over the leg. We're going from out to in on the opposite leg now. So opposite leg. Try to get it up as high as you can before you bring it into the center. I'm going to change direction into out. Perfect. Next up, we're going to go on our torso rotation. So opening one arm out at a time. Try to make sure you have enough space with this one. If you need to turn side on in your mat, you can. And you're really swinging one arm back behind the body at a time. Go and try to stay looking forward all the time when you're doing this one. Really squeeze your ass and your abs as tight as you can to stop your body from rotating. You just want to open your torso out. Good to see so many of you up this morning. Well done. <laughs> Perfect. Next up, we're going to go with a new one. We might have done this one before. So we're going to go feet shoulder width apart. Okay, we're going to bend forward from our hips and with the opposite arm, so you're reaching across your body, I want you to grab the outside leg and reach up for the ceiling with the top arm. Okay, so again, you're grabbing opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching across your body and reaching up for the ceiling then with the opposite arm. Go to your alternating. You're just holding it for two or three seconds on each side. And you're alternating. So again, really grab that leg, try to grab it down by the ankle as you reach up, and then alternating over. Cool, we'll bring it back up then. We're going to bring it back up to our shoulders. We're going with nice big shoulder circles forward. So big rolls of the shoulders. You can keep the elbows bent on this, keep the hands in nice and close. So you're really squeezing chest together in the front, then pinching shoulder blades together out the back. I'm going to change direction, opposite direction. Okay, next up we're going to go feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. I'm going to get you to sit down in the bottom of your squat with your hands. We're going to grab just underneath our toes and we're sitting down right in the bottom of our squat as deep as you can go. From here we're going to hold it for two seconds in the bottom. Then we're going to look at standing up, straightening out our legs in the top. Hold it for two seconds and working between the two. So we're sitting down and standing up. I'll show you side on. So we're sitting right down, standing right up. So 
I'll get you to keep that going. Just want to have a look at some of your technique. Good. When you're sitting down in the bottom, you're trying to have your arms on the inside of your knees. Good. And when you stand up in the top, try to stand straight up to stretch your hamstrings as much as you can. Get right up, stretching all along your posterior chain. We'll go for another 15, 20 seconds on that one, working between the two. Excellent. From here, if you want to bring yourself back to the back of your mat, we're going to bring it down into a high plank position. And from here, we're going to go with some rotations. So we're opening our body up towards the ceiling, bringing it back to the center and change it over opposite side. So make sure to rotate your feet as you go, turn your feet side on into the floor as you're rotating side to side. Good. Really squeeze your ass and your abs as tight as you can so that you don't lose control of your body at any stage. Drop your hips down a little bit more. Uh, all one hips dropped in a little bit more. Good. We'll go three or four more on each side. And relax. We'll drop it down to all fours. Hands are now directly underneath their shoulders. We're going to bring left foot in by left hand. We're straightening our back leg out. And for now, we're just holding this position. No movement yet, just holding the position. From here then we're going to start bringing in that little bit of movement. So with the inside leg, as my left leg is forward, my left arm is working, I'm reaching up for the ceiling and tucking it back in. We're going to do eight to ten on each side. Good. Take your time with it, making sure to keep that back leg as straight as you can. There's no bend in our knee. And try to follow your hand with your eyesight. Okay, so if you're looking right up at the hand as you're opening up. Good. Once you have your 8 to 10 done, you can switch it over. We go on the opposite side. Good work, everybody. Looking good. Technique is looking nice and controlled on that one. If you want to get a little bit more out of it, you know the drill. Try to get your elbow right down to touch off the ankle before you open up as wide as you can. Super, once you have your eight to 10 done on the second side, you can have a quick drink if you need to, where you're gonna go into our first exercise. If you have your towel or your mat set up, as I said already, similar to mine. Um, if you have two sets, of kettle, uh, two sets of dumbbells or two sets of kettlebells, I'm gonna let you know when to use heavier or lighter. If you only have one set, don't worry, that's absolutely fine. The first exercise we're gonna go with is a split squat, okay, with a drive. So I'll show you front on and then I'll show you side on. For those of you who do not have uh, any equipment, I'm going to obviously give you bodyweight alternatives. Um, just let me check what one I have for my first one. What do we call it? Perfect. Okay, so with our first exercise, with our split squat, we're going to do five on each leg. So one foot forward, one foot back. The leg that's in front, is always going to be slightly bent, okay? So we're never going to lock it back here. We to keep it slightly bent. With the dumbbell, we're going to have it opposite leg or opposite arm to the leg that's out in front, and it's going to be a shoulder height. As we squat down, we're going straight down. As we come out to the bottom of our squat, we're driving that dumbbell straight up above, controlling back down to the ground, driving straight up above, all right? So we're going to do five on each side, and then we'll switch it over. So again, I'll show you front on. One foot out in front, slight bend in the knee, stays constant, elbow tucked in nice and tight. We control down, we drive up, driving the dumbbell straight up above our head, controlling it down and driving up. We're gonna do five and five and keep working for a total of 45 seconds. For those of you who do not have any equipment, you're gonna go with some pile lunges. So with your pile lunges, you start down deep, you're jumping and changing, jumping and changing. All right, so we're working for 45 seconds, everybody. I'm going to get the timer set up, turn some music on if you have it there. 
And we're gonna get going in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Okay, so we have, okay, a lot of people without equipment, perfect. If you're finding those pile lunges difficult, okay, slow it right down. You can step out, jump back to the center. Step out, jump back to the center. Good, you're alternating then as you go, very good. Excellent everybody, keep it going, 10 seconds. Very good, very good, and relax. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick check here um, with Rizika and June. If you guys could just through the chat, let me know if you have uh, equipment or not. If you guys don't have equipment, I'll teach it as a body weight class. Um, if you do, I'll keep teaching it as we go. I'll explain the next one just when you get a chance, if you could let me know through the chat option whether you have equipment or not. Oh, you do have equipment, perfect, okay. So we keep it going as is. So our second exercise then, we are gonna go with some dumbbell chest press into chest fly or slow controlled plank press. For those of you who are doing body weight exercises, we are gonna go with our plank press. So squeezing our ass and our abs as tight as we can. We're controlling down to the ground. There's no rock from my hips. Controlling down and controlling back up. Okay, so again, controlling down, alternating the hand that you're pressing with and control them back up. What I don't want to see is this. Hips going all over the place. Has to be really, really slow and controlled, okay? So squeeze your ass, squeeze your abs. Next exercise for the people with equipment. I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. <clears throat> so with equipment, we are gonna go with a chest press. Starting down now with 90 degrees, we're driving up. Once we're up at the top of our chest press, we're going to turn our dumbbell side on. And we're going to open out and fly back into our chest press again. So chest press up, fly back down. You're looking at keeping that tension through your chest all the time. So again, we're going to work for 45 seconds. We're getting going in three, two, and one. Let's get working. Good, plank pressers, drop your hips in a little bit more, okay? Really, really squeeze the life out of your ass and abs and slow it right down. <clears throat> so Eilish, if you feel comfortable enough, you're gonna go down to one elbow at a time and then back up to one hand at a time. There you go, perfect. Good, aiming, good control, well done. Excellent guys, 15 seconds to go. Rizika with the chest flies, make sure you're taking your time. It should be two seconds on the way up and then two seconds as you're opening back out wide also. And time. Very good, everybody, very good. We're back up to our feet. Next up, we're gonna go with some goblet squats. So with our goblet squats, Rizika, if you wanna to get to your Kettlebell or dumbbell, whichever you have in front, we're going to hold it to the center. I'm going to actually go with a sumo squat with this one, okay? So we're going feet a good bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're really turning our toes off to the side. We're sitting down for three, two, one, right down to the bottom. Then as we stand back up, we're driving up fast and bringing ourselves up onto our tippy toes for one, okay? So again, the tempo. You guys, without the equipment, are going to do the exact same, just without the equipment. So we're going down for three, Two, one, as we drive up, all the way up onto our tippy toes, squeezing our ass and our abs. Okay, 45 seconds working on that. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go for three, two, one, and drive the squeeze. Three, two, one, and drive the squeeze. So it's gonna have a look at some of your technique on this. Good, bodies are staying up nice and tall. Alwyn, you can turn your toes off to the side even more. Katie, the same, turn them right off to the side. It's a nice sumo squat. Good, good, good. Really good tempo, guys, well done. Excellent, and if at the top of your squat, come right up onto your tippy toes, so drive all the way up. 
There you go. Get that full extension. We'll keep the balance by picking a spot and staring at it. 15 seconds to go. Controlling down, drive all the way up. Good. Right up onto the tippy toes, everybody. Right up. Good. Well done. Five seconds. And time. Super. Next exercise, we're going to go with for with our equipment. We are going with some bent over rows. So with our bent over rows, your start position is really, really important. Actually, no, everybody is going to go with this one. I'm going to show you guys without the equipment. If you could grab a towel or even a t-shirt, I'm going to try and show you an exercise to do with a towel or t-shirt that would work the exact same. So anybody who doesn't have equipment, just grab a towel or a t-shirt. So with equipment, we're leaning in. Knees are slightly bent so that the tension is into our hamstrings and our back is nice and tight. Dumbbells are towards each other. And as we roll back, we're looking at sitting our shoulder blades back as far as we can and bringing our elbows towards our hips. Okay, so elbow towards hips, shoulder blades back. What I don't want to see with this one is this. Okay, elbow height doesn't mean you're doing this one correctly. It's all about getting your shoulder blades back pinched towards each other and your elbows towards your hips. Okay, so we're going to work up for one, hold for one, down for two. So it's up, hold. Down to one. For you guys that are using a towel or a t-shirt, okay? I just want you to have it out in front of your body like so. We're gonna get ourselves into the same position. If you need to wrap it a little bit tighter, you can if you have a longer tail. It just needs to be about the same width as your body. So you're in the same, locked into that position. A little bit of tension through the hamstrings, nothing in the lower back, so we're not rounded. And from here, what we're looking to do is pulling towards our belly button, Elbows towards our hips and shoulder blades back behind our body. You should be getting a really good squeeze down this part of your body here. All right, that one took a little bit longer to explain, but we're going to work for 45 seconds. We go overhand grip. So try not be underhand grip, try be overhand wrist down towards the floor. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's get working. So don't be afraid to really, really squeeze it up top, really pinch those shoulder blades in, and drive your elbows towards your hips. So don't worry about elbow height. We don't need the back here. We actually need it down a little bit lower. So not up here, down a little bit lower. Good, guys. Remember, start position. You need to be leaned in, so you need to be over. Good, really pulling hard on that tail to create tension as well. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, and relax. Good, we've about five, six seconds left. And time, okay. Next up, we're gonna go with a curl and press, okay? So as if you have your two dumbbells there, we're gonna stand the split stance, one foot forward, one foot slightly back. And this time wrists are out away from your body. From here, we're gonna sit our shoulder blades back towards each other. We're curling up to shoulder height. So like a bicep curl, opening out the dumbbells and pressing straight up overhead. So I'll show you side on, I'm just gonna hunker down a bit more. So you're curling up to shoulder height, turning the shoulder height, pressing straight above, returning back down, turning in, and opening out. Okay, so that's with the equipment. For those of you without equipment, I'll get you down on your mask. If you want to just have a look at the camera before you get down, just so you can see. You guys are going to go with some swimmer hovers. Okay, so with these, hands start behind your head. From here, you're opening your arms out as wide as you can and bringing them behind your back. So all the time, you're looking at not touching your head, not touching the floor, and not touching your back. Okay, so I'll come close to the camera. Hand position is behind your head here, and then they switch behind your head or behind your back here. Okay, so everybody down to the floor. We're getting going in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. So, Rizik, if you want to look at me, we're curling up the shoulder height, we're opening out, and we're pressing towards the ceiling. Good, controlling back down the shoulder height. Turning in and opening it. Excellent. Good. 
Katie, with these swimmer hoppers, when you're bringing your hands towards your lower back, you can bring them in a bit closer, bend your elbows, palms up to the ceiling. There you go, good. <clears throat> good, guys, all the time. You're not touching your back or your head with this. You're trying to keep that separation, so you're gonna get really good shoulder work out of this. In 15 seconds or so left. Good, take your time. If you can, keep your forehead on the ground. Excellent, excellent. We've five, six seconds left. Get one or two more in. And relax. Good stuff. Hopefully, the people that were doing the swim or hobbies, you're feeling that one a little bit in the posterior delts or in the back of your shoulder. The last exercise we're going to go with in a round of six is going to be a dumbbell sit and reach sit up. Okay. So, if you have a piece of equipment or if you have a weight, you're holding it just straight up above your chest. Feet are latched in nice and tight. We're going to sit up as high as we can and reach away towards the ceiling and then controlling it back down to the ground. So we're sitting up, reach away, and controlling back down. Obviously, if you don't have a piece of equipment, arms just stay up nice and straight, reaching up, and returning back down to the floor. Okay? We're going to work for 45 seconds. We're getting going in three. All the time, arms locked down straight. Two. And one. Let's get working. Press those feet hard into the ground. Good, Adriana. Well done. Ellis, you'll try and stretch right up to the sky more so than out in front of us. So right straight up above your head. Good. Keep your arms nice and straight, Rizuka. Alvin, as you sit up, stretch up towards the ceiling, not out in front of your body. So up towards the ceiling. There you go. Good, guys. Good. Rizika, try and keep your dumbbells straight up all the time so you're not using them to help you get up. It's all about your abs, so keep the dumbbells straight up. 15 seconds. Good, no swinging those arms in. Try to keep them pointed all the way up to the sky. You're receding all the time. Excellent, everybody. And time. Good stuff. Grab a quick drink of water. We're going to go back around to the start on those three uh, and those six exercises. We're going to do two more rounds and then we're going to go into a little bit of cardio sort of strength based work at the end. Very good, everybody. Well done. Okay, so which did I change it? Around? Put that in the tree. Perfect. Hopefully, everybody is feeling nice and warm now at this stage. We're moving well as far as I can see on this end. We're going to bring it back around to the start and we're going to go with our dumbbell. Split squat and drive. We're controlling down, driving up, controlling down and driving up. By the way, guys, you guys are going with your pile lunges. Okay, we're going in three, two, and one. Let's get to it. 45 seconds. Good. Bring the arm down as well as you're coming with that split squat and then drive as you're coming out of the bottom. Controlling down and drive. Five and five. Once you have five done, you can switch it over opposite side. Good, make sure we switch it over then as well, Adriana. So switch hands and switch leg. Good. Excellent, guys. Good, control it right down to the ground and then explode right out of the bottom. Excellent. And time. Good, in 15 seconds, we are going to go with our floor work. So we're down with our chest press. If you guys are doing body weight, you're doing your plank press. So with our chest press, we're starting low, we're driving up, turning the dumbbells and opening out wide. Okay, we're going in three, two, and one. Let's work. So chest press, turn and open and out. For body weight, guys, it's your plank press, controlling down and controlling back up. Good, no rocking and rolling, excellent. Excellent guys, excellent, excellent. 10 seconds to go. And time, super. We're up to our feet, 
In 15 seconds, we are going with our goblet squats. Sumo style, so toes turn right off to the side. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. Squatting down three, two, one, and drive all the way up onto our tippy toes. Down three, two, one, and drive all the way to the tippy toes. Excellent. Really, really get that full extension. Force your calves to do the work to stabilize you when you're up tall. Good. Knees are driven wide. Nobody's knees falling inwards. Excellent. Keep it going. Good stuff. Try to keep your hands in front so that we're not swinging them back behind. Keep hands in front all the time. And time. Excellent. Next up, we're going to go with our bent over row. So you guys, if you're on your tail, grab your tail up again. So slight bend in our knees. We're going in about five, six seconds. Leaning in. Three, two, and one. Let's work. Squeeze shoulder blades back towards each other and back down. Try to pull that tail apart. Really try to pull the tail apart as hard as you can to create loads of lovely tension for your back. Good. If you guys could just turn side onto your camera if you're not already there, just so I can see your backs. Good. Good, Ayla. So if you try to get your upper body a little bit more parallel to the ground, so lean into it a little bit more, so you want to be down a bit lower. Excellent. Good. Relax your chin down, Rizika. Excellent. Well done, well done. Five, six seconds ago. Good. Everybody's looking spot on with that one. And time. Good. Next one up, we're going with our curl and press. I'll finish and grab the heavier one there. So remember, if you have your dumbbells, we are curling up to shoulder height. We're turning at shoulder height. And we're pressing above, controlling down, and controlling down. Uh, for those of you that don't have your equipment, we are going with our, what did I have for that? Oh, our swimmer hovers. So behind the back of your head and behind your back. All right, we're getting going in three, two, and one, let's work, curling up, turning, pressing straight above, controlling down, turning in, and opening out. Good. Go to split stance, Rizuka, so put one foot back, one foot forward. There you go, really pull your belly button back towards your spine. Excellent, curling up, turning, and pressing straight up above. Good with those swimmer hovers, well done. Take your time, you don't want to touch off back, or head whatsoever. Keep those elbows a little bit wider. All the ones, so elbows a little bit higher if you can. There you go, good. Really force your posterior delt to do all the work there, so the back of your shoulder. Five, six seconds to go. And time, super. Everybody's over then for our sit up and reach. So again, with this one, we had a lot of people where reaching out here in front, I want you Reaching straight up for the sky as high as you can go. Control it back down. Straight up for the sky again. Okay, we're going in three, two, and one. Let's get working on that one. Good. No swinging arms forward. We don't want that momentum being used. We want abs using everything to get us straight up for the sky. Super. Good stuff, everybody. Really good. Good, keep those arms nice and straight, Adriana. So arms straight all the time. Good, really plant your feet hard into the ground, press down through your heels. Good, 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 keep those arms straight. Excellent, well done. Nearly there, last three. Two, and one to relax. Excellent, end of our second round. Have a quick drink. Good stuff, everybody. Well done. We're going to go through one more round on all of those. Anybody having any issues with any of the exercises? No? We're happy enough. Perfect. If there is, obviously you guys are on mute at the minute, but if there is, if you want to just drop me a message in the chat and I will try to fix it up for you. But I think all the regressions and the progressions are good to go for everybody. Good to see you, Ronnie. <laughs>
working real hard, man. Good. What a waste there. What a waste there. Right. We're going with our split squats again, so we're back around to the top. Remember, if you have your dumbbells, opposite arm, opposite leg, we're controlling down and driving up. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Control and drive. For those of you who don't have them, we're going with our jump lunges. Good. Keep that front foot nice and flat. Excellent. Good stuff, Eamon. Getting a good bit into your glutes there. Excellent. Super, guys. Keep it going. And time. Well done. Okay, we're taking it down to the floor. We're with our dumbbell chest, guys. Okay, we're going in three, two, and one. So chest press up, turn, open out, chest fly in. Plank press for those of you without equipment, so you're over in your high plank position. Controlling down and controlling up. Good, going as slow as you possibly can to stop that rock and roll. There's no rock and roll. Excellent. Good, as you can remember, chest press up, chest fly open back out. So it's pressing up, turn the dumbbells, opening out. And time. Good stuff, everybody. We're up to our feet. Goblet squats. We're going in 10 seconds. Dumbbell is in the center if you need. Feet turned off to the side in our sumo stance. Going in three, two, and one. Down three, two, one. And drive to squeeze through the calves to full extension. And drive to squeeze. Good. Keep those arms up in front though. We want to make it all a lower body exercise. So no arms swinging back. Keep your hands in front. Good, good, good. The height we're getting on that extension from everybody is super. The depth in the squat is really good too. Squeezing all along your posterior chain. So your lower back, your ass, your hammers and your calves. And time. Good stuff. Our next exercise then we are going with our bent over rows. Grab your towel, pulling it apart, really, really nice tight towel. Leaning in, we're looking at sitting the elbows right back, nice and low, shoulder blades back in our back pockets. We're going three, two, and one. Let's work. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Super, there's nothing fast about this. So we can slow it down a little bit. Katie, I'll get you to straighten your legs a little bit more. So we're sitting back just a little bit too much. Try to straighten your legs a little bit more and lean into the exercise more. Good, now just relax your chin right down towards your chest. So you can tuck your chin right in. And again, we can straighten your legs a little bit more too. Oh, we've about 15 seconds left. So sitting, shoulder blades right back into back pockets, controlling them. Squeeze. And relax. Good stuff. Next up is our curl and press for those of you with your equipment. One foot forward, one foot back, curling, turning, pressing, swimmer hovers down on the ground for those of you without. For those of you with empty equipment, I really want you now getting your elbows as wide as you can, keeping them wide, keep those elbows up nice and high. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Good, we're curling up, Rizika, we're turning and we're pressing. Super, same again, tuck the belly button right back towards your spine so we're not relaxed. 
Body is nice and taut, nice and tight. Good, keeping our forehead down. Keep those elbows as high as you can for those of you doing the swimmer hovers. Good. Good, it's slow and controlled all the time. 15 seconds to go, super good. Really, really good, last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, we're flipping over, we're going with our sit up and reach. So feet are planted as tight as you can into the ground. We're going in five, three, two, and one. <laughs> Sitting right up and reaching away. Apologies for that giggle at the start. My abs were yet to wake up there. Good, stretch it right up towards the sky, or towards the ceiling. Excellent, excellent. Super guys, super, we have five, six seconds left. Get one or two more in, keep those arms nice and high, Rizuka, well done. And time. Super. Excellent. Grab a quick drink. We're going to go into our final sort of block of our class. I'm going to hunker down so you can see me. We're going to go into our final block of our class, which is going to be our 21-15-9. Okay, so we're working three exercises. Each one we're going to do 21 reps on. Then each one we're going to do 15 reps on. Then each one we're going to do nine reps on. Okay, so it equals a total of... 45 reps, just quick maths this morning. It equals a total of 45 reps on each exercise. One is going to be lower body, one is going to be total body, and one is going to be abs. Okay, so the three we're working, you no longer need your equipment, so you can pop that off to the side. The three we're working is we're going to work just a simple squat hop. Okay, so we're squatting down, hands on our hips, and exploding up. We're going to work 21 of those. Second exercise, then we said. Was a core exercise. So we're going to work butterfly sit ups. So I'll show you side on. Soles of your feet together. Reach your back behind your head. Keeping your knees nice and wide. And then reach in front of your body. So back and in front. I'll show you front on. So you can see, knees are nice and wide. We don't want them in here. We want to keep them wide. Reach them back behind. And reach in front. And then the last exercise, I think you probably can guess what it is. We're going to go with our burpees. But I want the tuck jump at the end. So we're squatting down. Hands go flat. Body goes flat, hopping in, big tuck jump, get your knees up as high as you can to hit off your hands at the end. Okay, we have about five, six minutes left. So this is all up to you. You can tear into this as fast as you'd like to go. First up is our squat hops. Sorry, what was the first thing? Three, as quick as you can, 21 reps, two, and one. Let's work. Good, keep the hands on the hips so it's all lower body. If you don't feel comfortable jumping off the ground, you can just do it as a normal squat. But it's good to see people putting that pile out and then you'll get more out of it. So 21 reps. Once you have your 21 done, you're down to the floor for your sit-up. Soles of your feet together. Reach them back behind your head. And then reach them right in front to get that touch. 21 reps again. Good, good, good. So once you have your 21 done, I'm going to straight down to the floor. Good. Excellent, guys. Everybody's really tearing into this really well. We've less than a minute gone. Once you have your 21 done, you are up your into your burpees. Excellent. We have some up. Good. We're squatting down. Hands go flat, body flat. We're hopping in. And we're exploding up, getting those knees as high as we can. So big tuck jump at the end. Go, Katie, remember just 21 reps, yeah? Good. Good burpee, Adriana, getting those knees right up as high as you can. 
We have one and a half minutes gone. We're going to work on this for a total of four minutes to try and get those numbers all the way down. Super, everybody. That tempo that you're hitting has you on good numbers. Good, once you have your 21 done, you're back into those squat hops. Hands on our hips. Good, no hands on the knees, Adriana, well done. Exploding up, excellent. Good, keep your upper body nice and tall so we're not leaning in. We're keeping everything tall, bending the knees to bring us down and exploding from there. Good, guys, I know it's getting tough. It's meant to be, this is our finisher. This is what we empty our tanks with. Super, super, super. Keep getting yourself up off the ground. Just that little bit of a hop. Two minutes, 20 gone. As I say, we're going for a total of four minutes. Okay, so a minute and 40 seconds left. Try to get down onto them nine numbers. Excellent, excellent. Getting up off the ground if we can. Rizuka, good lady, well done. I know the burpees are probably the hardest one. Sit-ups is where you can get your breath back. Good squat hops album, well done. Excellent, everybody. Excellent. We are into our final minute. Good. Even if everybody finishes on that second round of burpees, I'll be happy with that, okay? Keeping knees wide on the sit-ups. Tuck the heels in a little bit more. Uh, Eamon, tuck your heels in. Yeah, while well, you're finished, copy out. Super, guys. Once you're on to the 15 burpees, I'm going to be happy out with that. I'll take just the 15. Excellent. Knees nice and wide. Keep them as wide as you can with the sit-ups. Super. Burpees looking really good there, Edish. Well done. Same, Adriana. We're flying good, eh? Excellent, Katie. Good speed. Good on the push on the sit ups album. Well done. Really drive your heels into the ground. Keep those knees nice and wide. Once you're on the 15 push ups, once you have them done, that is you guys finished. On the 15 burpees, sorry, not push ups. Excellent, excellent. We're well out of the comfort zone this morning, finishing out on that. Well done. Super. As I said, once you have your 15 burpees done, that's you guys. So Adriana and Ada, you guys can hold up there. We're going to get into our cool down in about 30 seconds. Good, burpees. We're all finishing them out. Excellent. Everybody's really pushing themselves. For those of you that are finished already, if you want to take a seat on your mat with your water. Super guys, guys that are still working on the burpees, let's finish them out. Excellent. Super, all about challenging yourself when it's on a screen like this, when it's just me talking. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, and we'll hold it up on that. Good stuff. So whatever numbers you're on, we'll hold it up on that. Well done, everybody. Get your water on board. All I want you to do for the first few seconds of our cool down is we're just going to work on our breathing. Okay, so I want you breathing in for three seconds. Nice deep breath in for three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one. One, and then we're exhaling for three, two, and one. We'll do two more of those, okay? So really deep breath again. Hold, exactly, Roman, very zen. Holding, and then exhaling for three, two, and one. Good stuff. One more of those. Really slowing your heart rate down through your breathing. Hold it for three, two, 
and one and exhale exhaling deeply good we're going to bring it down into a calf stretch so we're over into a high plank position and we're just walking our heels down into the ground one at a time you can't really feel that stretch walk your feet in a bit closer And relax. We'll drop down to one knee. We extend one leg out in front for a hamstring stretch. And relax. We'll keep that leg in front. Foot goes flat. We're pushing our hips in. Stretch out our hip flexor. We reach across our body with the opposite arm. And relax, we'll change it out. Sorry, I've done that the wrong way around then. If you've done your hip flexor stretch on the second leg, we'll go into a hamstring stretch. Apologies, I've forgotten about that. And relax, we're standing up nice and tall. We're going to go with a quad stretch next. So, same hand, same ankle. Good. Really pull the foot in nice and hard. And relax, we'll change it over. We'll go opposite side. And relax. Next up, we're going to go with a glute stretch. So ankle to knee. We're sitting down as low as we can. But if you're losing your balance, pick a spot, stare at it. And relax. So change it over, opposite side. And relax. Next up, we're going to bring it up to our upper body. So we're reaching up for the ceiling with both arms. We grab one elbow. We're just going to hunger down a bit. We grab one elbow and push the hand down behind our back. <clears throat> and relax. We change it over. Opposite side. Stretch it up. And again, trying to push the hand right down in between your shoulder blades as much as you can. And relax. And that's us guys. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause wherever you are. Excellent work this morning. We're going to pass you back on to Roland. He's going to have a quick chat with you before we finish off, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, guys. Uh, I can see you all worked uh, quite as hard as I did today. Uh, so I've got, a, I've got a new challenge for you guys, okay? It's called the Zoomerang Challenge. So you've got to take the best boomerang of your trainer doing an exercise. I got a pretty sexy one of Luke earlier on doing some sit-ups. So it's the Zoomerang challenge. You gotta get your phones and you gotta record your trainers doing a silly exercise with a boomerang and then post it and then tag movement later on. And surely we'll come up with some sexy prize for the best Zoom. Over the <laughs> That's the Zoomerang challenge. And then next week, um, because we're doing some classes live for FM 104, our it's going to be, we're going to actually have the classes live on their, um, what's you call it, uh, Instagram page. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the express classes are going to be live on uh, Instagram. So that's where we're going to be doing them. So you tune into Instagram for those classes. Uh, Saturday class as per normal at 12. And then Sarah's going to be doing the yoga class at 11 o'clock this Sunday and going forward at 11 o'clock for Sunday yoga. Okay, cool. Stay safe, guys. Good Stay morning. Safe. Chat to you later. Thank you, Luke. Cheers. Thanks, See you guys. Bye. Bye.